Welcome back to Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pallara. The holiday season is here, and with it comes all the usual temptations. Rich desserts, creamy casseroles, buttery rolls. I can taste them now. But our partner, Gwinnett Medical Center, wants you to choose more heart-healthy indulgences. That's why Gwinnett Medical Center's own Amy Tella, a registered dietitian and certified nutrition support clinician and chef, it's quite a title there, Chef. <laughs> Clarence Whitfield are here to tell us today how we can indulge but keep it heart healthy. Welcome back. Hey, good to Thank see you. you. Thank you both for being here. Let me tell you, we are inundated starting this month yep. for the next, what, six weeks there you go. with so much temptation. We just want to eat and enjoy ourselves during the holidays. But how can we make slight adjustments so it's more heart healthy? Well, a great place to start is in the grocery store. Yeah. So if you go to the American Heart Association, they have a really good website and they have lots of tips. Um, and we'll go through some of those today. But it really starts in the grocery store. So, okay. you know, if for appetizers, instead of doing huge cheese platters with, you know, the little sausages on it and yes. things like that, do fruits and um, whole grain crackers. Um, um, also do unsalted nuts. Oh, Those good are a good choice yeah. for that. Because I know nuts are good for you, but when you get them loaded with salt, then yeah. it kind of defeats just, the purpose. Defeats the purpose. <laughs> Absolutely. Your sodium levels are, you get in, in one handful, which you should probably have for the day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and then as far as like, you know, eggnog is going to start rolling around, you know, with Christmas coming, buy the low fat or non fat version or even do a mold apple cider. Okay. Because that would have less fat in it. Yeah, that still sounds great to me. Yeah, and then we have mashed potatoes. Of course, it's not a Thanksgiving spread without mashed potatoes. So instead of using like heavy cream and butter, things like that, you can do non fat sour cream or a non fat evaporated milk, and it still gives it that creaminess okay. that you would have. And then also, when you're boiling the potatoes, um, do them in chicken broth because that will help give it some more flavor. Just some do the flavor. low sodium version, and that way it'll more flavor while it's cooking. Okay, terrific. And you mentioned getting these tips at the American Heart Association's mm -hmm. website. Yes which is fantastic. Go to the grocery store armed with the list already in hand so you don't make those impulse purchases. Yeah. I know I do it, so that's yeah. a good idea. Well, yeah, and then while you're at the store, make sure you're reading the labels, um, choosing things that are um, lower in saturated fat, right. use good oils like olive oil and canola oil. Um, if you stay away from the um, prepackaged or prepared foods, you'll um, avoid the trans fats, which of course are um, put you at higher risk for heart disease right. when, when eating those. And great point my mother-in-law brought up. We were talking about brining the turkey. Mm -hmm. And she's uh, diabetic and she has liver issues. She's like, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to ruin everybody's <laughs> turkey, but we abso absolutely yeah. have to stay away from that. She says, you have no idea. I mean, it is loaded, saturated, right? Yeah. With salt. Right. Salt Gives it fat. F flavor, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, but hey, guess what? Take it down a notch and you'll still have that good flavor. And what about for when we actually attend the parties? Because we go to these parties and all the food is out. And it, what if you attend more than one a night? My gosh, <laughs> you're just eating your way from house to house. So what are some tips you have for us to control um, You know, when you first walk in, instead of like heading straight to the table, maybe mingle with people because you're there, you know, to socialize sure. and see everyone. And also, you, if it's a buffet type situation, look at the entire spread and pick and choose right. like what you really want and grab the smallest plate they have. Yes, great point. Because that way that's going to help control your portions. Yeah, size. and don't go back for another plate, no. okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just that small one, please. And you've brought some delicious choices, uh, some healthier mm. options, I would assume. So let's go down the list here. Um, here, Chef made a um, dressing, and that's oh, got dressing. nuts and fruit in it. Ooh. So that's a healthier version. Okay. And of course, we just got this sliced turkey there. Beautiful. Um, we did a cranberry relish. So that's got the fresh cranberries in okay. it. Okay. And that's good. When, when you opt for the fresh over the canned, you're always going to oh, yeah. do much better with that, right? right. In terms of the, your calories and your sugar and all that. Exactly. Okay. Um, and then in the front there, we have some sweet potatoes, and those are sweetened with Splenda, so that has no sugar in it. Okay. So that helps with the calories, but we also have raisins and nuts in there. So. Okay. Mm. And I love, the chef always has such great presentation. <laughs> I think it, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. And lastly, let's talk about green beans, because I know that's one of my favorites. My mother-in-law makes it, but this looks like a healthier version. It's a last name, green beans, and what we do, we... Uh, Add, we caramelize the onions and toast the, uh, the oh. almonds that's in the lines and add additional flavors to the green beans. Right, so we don't need that creaminess, <laughs> that uh, condensed yeah. milk. Uh, we can still get some great flavor, and the almonds will give us that, that nice crunch, yeah, which I always absolutely. love, yeah. rather than the um, fried little the fried onions. onions on the top. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> nix that, nix it. Guys, thank you so much sure. as always. And since you were here last time, you know, we had Halloween. They were giving us Halloween tips. She was asking me how <laughs> I did that night. I was like, do you want an exact candy count? Because, no. uh, but it was pretty good. Thanks to your great tips as always. We really appreciate your time. Sure. Thank, thank you. you. And of course, if you're interested in making any of these recipes or for any of the tips discussed today, please go to 11alive.com slash take the pledge to get complete recipes along with taking the pledge to have a healthier heart. You can receive a free pedometer and will be entered to win a monthly uh, entered in a monthly drawing to win an iPad Nano. And this segment was paid for by Gwinnett Medical Center.